I am acutely aware that the steps we're asking people to take just now, particularly that advice to limit social contacts, is having a severe economic impact. This is particularly hard on sectors like hospitality and culture. Uh, these have been badly affected by previous waves of COVID and the restrictions we've all been living with. And of course, these sectors were hoping uh, until recently uh, with some justified optimism for a much better Christmas period ahead. Uh, so what has happened in the past three weeks has been a cruel blow to everybody, but it has really hit these sectors very hard all over again. Uh, that's why we in the Scottish Government have found £100 million to help businesses in these sectors. I, I can confirm today that £66 million of this will go to the hospitality sector, £8 million will go to the food and drink supply chain affected by hospitality cancellations, and that includes wholesalers. Uh, 20 million will go to the culture sector, 3 million to the wedding sector, and 3 million to the worst affected parts of tourism, including international inbound operators. Uh, we're working with councils, enterprise agencies, and others to ensure businesses get this money as soon as possible. Uh, those who've received support previously will be contacted directly and further details of the funding and how it will be paid are available on the Find Business Support website. The support we are providing is significant, but I know it won't fully compensate these sectors for the impact they're suffering right now. That's why I wrote to the Prime Minister yesterday asking the UK government to provide the support that is needed. In my view, business now needs the type and scale of financial support available earlier in the pandemic. And the reality is, uh, whether anybody likes it or not, that can only come from the UK government uh, because it has borrowing powers that the Scottish, Welsh and Northern Irish governments simply do not have. Uh, I'll press this point with the Prime Minister when I speak to him later today. I had hoped that I would already have spoken to him by now uh, because we must all realise that with a virus doubling every couple of days, businesses already bleeding every 24 hours counts. There is no time to waste. So I hope... The conversation later will be a positive one and that it will give businesses the assurance of support that they so badly need.